Hello there. Today we're going to be looking at the rares, their locations and drops inside of the zone of Red Ridge Mountains. Overall there are 8 rares in total and there's some really good loot to be had in this area. So without further ado, let's crack on with it. Rib Chaser Up first we have Rib Chaser, a level 17 null that hangs around just north of the intersection at three corners. There's nothing really special about Rib Chaser, he doesn't hit particularly hard and he kind of just patrols around with other nulls. If you kill him he has a 20% chance to drop the null punisher and if you don't get the null punisher you have a chance to get a green. Overall, pretty decent. Snarl Flare Up next we have Snarl Flare, a level 18 dragon that hangs around on the northern road outside of Lakeshire. Snarl Flare is a little bit like Rib Chaser in that there isn't anything particularly special about him, although this guy has the kind of worst thing that he doesn't actually drop a unique item, he only has a chance to drop, well he has a guaranteed chance to drop a green item, so if you're looking for greens and he's there, kill him, if not there's really no reason to hang around and wait. Squiddick Up next we have Squiddick, a level 19 murloc that hangs around in the water just east of the Everstill Bridge in Lake Everstill. Squiddick, again, is not really that difficult to kill, he's not an elite or anything, he, he doesn't really hit that hard either, and the area is pretty popular with players, so you might see him killed a lot of the time. Nevertheless, if you can kill him, he will drop a green. He also has a 4% chance to drop the Scimitar of a Ton, which is a, a sword that can drop from other murlocs in the area. This kind of scimitar is average, but he has a slightly increased chance to drop it at 4%. Sea Guardian Up next we have Seeker Aqualon, a level 21 water elemental that roams around at the bottom of Lake Everstill. At the bottom of Lake Everstill there are a few chests so it's worth looking down here anyway and if you see this guy I would definitely not hesitate to try and kill him. Just be aware as a water elemental he's immune to frost damage so unlucky frost mages and if you kill him he doesn't drop anything unique but he will drop a green for you. Chatter Up next we have Chatter, a level 23 tarantula that hangs around near Ulthar's Mill. Chatter can actually be quite dangerous to go up against because not only do they have a number of adds near them, but they also have a really nasty poison as I'm going to show in the video that actually stuns you for 7 or 8 seconds. So if you're going to fight this solo, I definitely wouldn't try taking it on a low health, it's not a cakewalk. That being said, if you do kill Chatter, you have a 30% chance to get the tarantula silk sash, which is a really nice cloth sash for low level players. Um, it would probably sell quite well in the auction house as well because it is the stats on it are pretty good. If you don't get the sash you are going to get a green instead so all is not lost. Boulder Heart Up next we have Boulderheart, a level 25 giant that hangs around in the southeast of the Garladale Valley. Not a lot of people know that Boulderheart is here and it's really crazy when you actually see a giant roaming around in Red Ridge. I think it's really cool that Blizzard actually introduced this guy and I didn't actually know he was here until I specifically went looking for him. Unfortunately Blizzard didn't think he was worthy enough to get his own unique loot. He only has a guaranteed drop on a green so you know you're kind of out of luck with that. Nevertheless I'll show you another little secret. If you continue a bit further down from Boulderheart there is a small hidden leather working camp that you can buy leatherworking supplies and items from so there's a um, leatherworking supplies guy here that drops a unique recipe for the blackwell cloak so there is actually a use for those blackwell scales uh, a skinning trainer and as well as a leather armor merchant that sells some greens that don't uh, run out from his inventory so and the green braces are actually really good and fairly affordable row the silent Up 
Up next we have Row the Silent, a level 26 null and arguably the best rare in Red Ridge Mountains. Row the Silent is null in a northern cave in the Garladale Valley and is often flanked by two or three mobs. He's actually stealth so you need to get close to see that he's even there and check to see if he's actually spawned. This is a very tough fight as the mobs do hit really hard and he hits quite hard himself and they're on the higher level for Red Ridge Mountains as well so I wouldn't recommend doing this when you're just kind of going into the area and questing. However, the rewards can be great. He is the only rare in Red Ridge that has a, a actual decent chance to drop a rare and just not by random, a 30% chance to drop the Black Venom Blade, and if you don't get that, a 70% chance to drop the Cloak of Night. Both really good items, the Black Venom Blade is obviously what people go for as it sells really well. I love items that have kind of poison or damage over time effects on them and things like that. As a bonus, he also often has a chest in the cave as well, so even if he's not there, normally the chest is going to be there as well, in this case I actually got a crap ton of really good loot, so if you're in this area definitely check to see if this guy's here a lot of people do camp him however for the rare and it's kind of semi-high drop chance cars on Our last rare in Red Ridge is Karzon, a level 27 neutral mob that hangs around in the far north at Render's Camp. This is really weird actually that Karzon's a neutral mob because the whole area is crawling with black rock orcs and he's the only one that won't actually attack you on site. Probably for the best however as this area is particularly dangerous and anyone that's questing in Red Ridge will know how horrible it is going up to Render's Camp because they hit like an absolute truck. Cars on himself hits even harder. This guy took he absolutely not the wind straight out of my character and I'm a level 60 mage. Just look at the damage he's actually hitting me on individual punches. On top of that he can also knock you down for two seconds. Be really careful when fighting this guy, you're going to need a friend. However, the loot is awesome. A 75% chance to drop cutthroat pauldrons which are amazing male shoulders for the level and a 50% chance to drop cars on's more which is an even better two-handed maze. Absolutely fantastic items. If he is here, you have to kill him. So that about sums up this video, all eight rares, their locations and drops inside of Red Ridge Mountains. Overall, I actually really like this zone despite the quests and its reputation in the past. The rares are really good and the drops are fairly unique. If you like the video, please do leave a comment and if you'd like to see more, subscribe to the channel.